I did want to watch some of these other videos, the uh, best-selling video games, etc. I've honestly really liked watching these, uh, and uh, we're going to watch another one. Yeah, let, let's go ahead. We're going to go to this one here. See, I never had a... I, I, my mom? My mom sold the Atari. Can you believe that? She sold my fucking Atari. Space Invaders? Bro, Space Invaders was the shit. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, Space Invaders... Like, it took me until, like, age 13 to realize that, like, the things that you could hide behind would break. Like, it took me so long to figure that out. Pitfall? Is that Pitfall? Yeah, it is. Dude, these are the old fucking games, man. Oh my god. Pac-Man, obviously. Dude, I feel like Pac-Man is, like, the, uh... That's the game everybody remembers is, like, the first game that, like, many people probably ever played seriously. Space Invaders a little bit, Pong a little bit, but mainly Pac-Man. What's this one here? Missile Command. Oh, I had this, dude, I downloaded this on my calculator back in the day. So 10 million units of Pac-Man were sold in 1984. Holy shit. Frogger. See, I remember, dude. Dude, we had Frogger back on the old school computers in like 1997 I, I went hard on frogger man i went so fucking hard on frogger and tetris getting more and more popular look at tetris holy shit there's mario too see super mario brothers see that fuck yeah dude that was the game Jesus, I didn't realize how much how well it was selling. Oh my god Donkey Kong. I, yeah, Donkey Kong wasn't shit next to Mario. Look at that Dude big dick Mario look at that God damn 20 dude, it's popping away oh, Tetris Game Boy version released wait Game Boy came out in before 19 1990 really? Holy shit. Oh, dude. Dude, I I'm going to be honest. The Super Mario Land, the one for the original Game Boy, was actually a really good game. And that shit was hard. Like, I remember, like, my dad's friend had this, uh, had this on his Game Boy. That shit was fucking hard. It was so good, too. Like, a lot of people completely sleep on this game. There's no reason to. That shit was lit. God, dude, it makes me want to go back and play that on, like, an emulator or something, man. Dude, I never... Because I never beat it, man. I never fucking beat it. Super Mario Bros. Dude, Super Mario Brothers 3 was, like... That was, like, the game. In, in terms of, like, graphics, like, Super Mario Brothers 3 was, like, a graphics upgrade from, like... It, it was... Oh, what was a game that was, like, as big of an upgrade for Super Mario 3? It was, like, seeing The Witcher 3 for the first time. Like, all those years ago... That was, like, the difference between, like, Super Mario uh, 3 and, like, every other game that came before it. It was Crisis 64. Yeah, it was fucking massive. It, it, the graphics even stand up today to some degree. They're so good. Look at that, dude. It was so fucking amazing. This is the one I grew up on right here. Super Mario World. And I also played this one a lot. I have broken three Sega Genesis consoles because of Sonic the Hedgehog. I destroyed them. I would get so fucking mad, dude. It's Sonic 3. That was the best one. Duck Hunt. I never had Duck Hunt. I could never get the, the gun to work. Yeah, I, I could never figure it out. This game right here. Super Mario World was my fucking childhood. Like, I grew up playing Super Mario World. That was my favorite game. And I remember I got all 96 exits and everything about it. And I remember I went and I bought... Uh, I bought it for... Oh, let's see. I, I got a, a Super Mario Maker because back whenever I was a kid. Like, you remember back, like, back in the day thinking, oh, I wish I could make my own Mario levels? Well, they made Super Mario Maker, and I was like, this is awesome. And so I, so I bought that, and I played the shit out of that, too. I love... Super Mario World is like... I remember the day, dude. I remember the day that I beat Bowser in Super Mario World. 
and I was sitting in front of my TV in the living room. It was like downstairs and I beat Bowser and I ran in and, and my mom was taking a nap and I woke her up. I said, mom, get the fuck out here. I beat him. And I dragged her ass out of bed and I was like, listen, look at this. I beat, I beat Bowser right here. And we watched the credits together. And this was like, I was like six or seven or eight years old, right? I, I was like the biggest accomplishment that I had ever had. Mom, get the camera. Uh, unironically, yeah. I never liked Street Fighter. I never liked the, uh, you know, the, that, the thing like there's just two players and they're just fighting like that. I just never really have liked it that much. Like actual traditional fighting games. I like Smash, but Smash doesn't like a traditional fighting game. Dude, look at, look how big Tetris is. Holy shit. Super Mario Brothers 3, there it is. Lemmings, I never played this one. Yeah, I never liked Lemmings. I never liked Lemmings. Pokemon incoming? Oh, there it is. Yeah, dude. See, dude, Pokemon went fucking wild. I remember, dude, Pokemon, the thing is, like, this doesn't really accurately describe how big Pokemon was. Because you had the cards, you had the merch, you had the movies, you had the toys, you had the stuffed animals, you had everything, right? Pokemon was so fucking big. And it wasn't just the games. There are people that love Pokemon, they never played the fucking games. They never did. The scratch-offs? Yeah, exactly, dude. Look at this. Dude, I didn't understand Tetris was so big. Like, that is crazy. I, I thought Super Mario 3 was way bigger, too. Yeah, I, I thought that actually Super Mario 3 got bigger than original Mario. Uh, I guess I was wrong about that. I don't know why I would think that, but I did. Holy shit. Remake for Game Boy Advance? Yeah. I, I got the remake, too, I'm pretty sure. It was a long time ago. It's hard for me to remember everything. 2005 the sim oh the sims oh dude ah oh, the sims wait a minute wait halo never even made the list i just realized this are you kidding me halo combat evolved and halo 2 never even hit the list is this a joke man fuck this fuck this list man this shit's rigged the sims Oh, The Sims. I never played The Sims. I always thought it sucked. Vice City went up there, too. I didn't know that either. That's crazy. God damn. That's a whole lot. Oh, my God. Yeah, I had no idea. Wait. Oh, dude. Wii Sports was so big. Do you guys know why Wii Sports was so big? It's because people that didn't play video games bought Wii Sports in order to exercise. Like, my dad got it to exercise. And people would buy a Wii. Like, it was the first game, really, that would attract people to play a video game for a reason that was besides um, just, like, the video game itself. Like, whenever you really think about it, like, Nintendo was so innovative with the Wii and Wii Sports at that time, it was crazy. We fit? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, the thing is that PlayStation tried to do this. They, they tried to do Wii Fit uh, with the uh, the eye toy or whatever it was called. I used to have it, but it didn't really work. It, it was not very good. And then uh, the Wii comes out, and it was just fucking amazing. The eye toy, that's what it was, yeah. New Super Mario Brothers was, wait, that was, that was that much of a good selling game? Holy shit, I didn't even realize that. Wow. I never played that. Honestly, the last Mario game I played seriously was Super Mario Sunshine. I have a, And I didn't even finish Super Mario Sunshine. I kind of wanted to go back and play every single Mario game. Just go through every single fucking one, man. GTA 5. God damn. God damn. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Minecraft! Oh god! Oh! Oh, it's 
It's gonna have to, oh God, look, let me just stop it right here, okay? I've got to stop it right here. Minecraft is... I want to like Minecraft. I really, really do. But I've just never had an experience in the game that's been fun. That's the truth. Like, I've, I've never had an experience in the game that's been fun. I, I've never really enjoyed it that much. And I don't know why. Because, like, there's tons of people that are adults that play it, right? It's not like it's a kid's game. Like, obviously, it's got a young audience for people that, like, make content about it. Sure. But at the same time, uh, a, lot, a lot of adults play Minecraft, too. Like, I don't know how I can't... How I just can't get into Minecraft. I was thinking about trying to join, like, an RP server or something like that. And maybe I would enjoy it that way. I, I don't know. Yeah, in game. Yeah, I, I like having games that have in game, etc. As I'm cancel my Minecraft kids, I don't want them to cancel me. I want them to teach me how to play the game. I, I, I want to know how to play Minecraft and enjoy it, cause I don't get it. I'm a boomer, and it's not gonna go. The thing is, Minecraft won't go away either. I can't just ignore it. Fuck. Minecraft is gonna overtake Tetris. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? I had no idea about that. What is this probability comparison gaming? Oh, that's cool. Um, I'll actually watch that. I'll, I'll watch that one too. That's like, that's fucking badass. That's so crazy that like, Pac-Man... Like, what's so cool to me about this picture is how many of these games came out in like the 80s and 90s. Like, Tetris. Um, let's just say PUBG, not PUBG, but it plays like it did. Um, uh, Mario Brothers, uh, Pokemon, Pac-Man. Like, that's like four out of like the top, what is this, like top 12 or whatever games. That is nuts, man. Uh, from back the, uh, the boomers still haven't, uh, uh, they haven't given up yet. Nostalgia? Yeah, exactly. And after this, we'll watch the Deli Girl video and I do want to start the game. Catch Pikachu. Who gives a fuck about Pikachu? Any shotgun chests in Fortnite? One in five, okay. Same Tetris piece? Okay, there's one in seven, all right. Baby chicken? One in eight? Okay. Exotic? One legendary in Overwatch? One in 13 loot boxes. See, it's actually not one in 13 loot boxes. They actually never drop. Yeah, you never get them. Uh, and if you do get them, you get one you don't want. Baby Piglet, Critical Hit, Pokemon Sword and Shield, a brown sheep, second rarest naturally occurring sheep color, Call of Duty Mobile, Dragonair, Weird Mushroom. Wait, what? Using this turns Mario tall and skinny and grants it Luigi's ability. Wait, what? I've never seen this before. Wait, what? Super Mario Maker? Oh, it's in Super Mario Maker. Oh, okay. I was about to say, dude. Sword of Kings. Five-star servant. Magic crystal. Uh, that sounds like just gambling. Catching full legendary Pokemon. Four baby chickens. Dry Bowser. Uh, one and three of getting Dry Bowser, Metal Mario, Peachhead, or Pauline. I remember whenever they had the Bowsette fan art. I thought that was great. I don't know whatever happened to that. That was really cool. That was like a really good week of the internet. Legendary core from Warframe. Tech Wetzel. What's this here? Where are the... It was like a year ago, right? It's gotten way more popular in the last year. Pink sheeps are the rarest sheep ever. Black ice skin, rare treasure in Dota 2. One in 2,300? Cosmic Wings. It's a 100% drop chance by Princess Lillian, but to even get her to spawn, it's a complicated process requiring rainbow goblins? What the fuck? Oh, I have this one! It's the big love rocket! I actually have this one! Holy shit! There it is, dude! There it is! Okay. Shiny Pokemon, Max Pokemon, Intricate Chest. Angel of Death? What the fuck is an intricate chest? 
That's RuneScape 3? Wait, oh, is it RuneScape 3? Oh, it's just, it, it's named wrong. Okay, I was about to say. Slime Staff from Terraria, Quath Mask from PUBG. Oh, I remember this, dude. Like, it, nobody had this. This is like so rare, even back in 2016. Final Fantasy 012, 1% chance and 1% chance of spawning the item. Holy shit. Very rare treasure in Dota 2. One in 14,000. RuneScape 3, per reward spots and hard clues. Gloss Slab Man, Skeleton. Enchanted Skeleton with Diamond Armor and Bow. Well, you don't want to fuck with him. Holy shit. Ultra rare treasures. Assuming, assume only opening one treasure, opening more would increase the odds. An ultra rare item. This is one in a hundred thousand? God damn. Ronaldo is one in fifty, hundred and fifty thousand? At CSGO is one in a quarter mil? Tyrael's might? See, I've heard about people that have farmed Diablo 2 for 10 years, 20 years, and they've only gotten maybe one or they've never gotten the Tyrael's might before. And whenever they finally got one, it was bad. Five Exodia cards. Mythic Goldfish. I've never seen that before. I've never even heard of that. Holy shit. Four legendaries. Odds are strange and unusual indeed. Winning lucky draw level in Mario Maker. Okay. Mirror of Calandra is one in 26 million. Holy shit. Dude, I've never dropped the mirror. Like, I've, I've never dropped the mirror. I've seen, like, I, I've seen a lot of clips of people dropping mirrors. Like, it never gets boring for me to watch people drop mirrors. I got two Mirror of Calandras in Harbinger League. This is actually the rarest currency in the game. Is an incredibly small tra uh, drop chance from Mob Isles. That's nuts, man. Holy shit, it doesn't exist. Yeah, I saw the Ares clip of him getting one, too. Yeah, a absolutely. That's fucking nuts, man. People with 10k hours have never dropped one. Yeah, I probably put in, like, maybe 4,000 hours to POE, so it's not really that much. Shiny giant robot. Look at that Pikachu. Wait, we're into the billions? Holy shit. Completed Ender Portal. Oh, this isn't this what happened in Dreams Run right here? That's crazy. Two of the same world. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, oh, what the fuck is that number? What is that fucking number? Perfect speed run, Pokemon Emerald. What? Perfect shiny decks, include encountering all 890 shiny Pokemon in a row. One in you, the game of life. Odds your mom and dad meeting, dating, and resulting in kids. Does that mean that I, I? Does that mean I'm gonna get all the shinies then? If I'm already luckier than getting all the shinies, I'm just gonna get them too. I think that's the way it works, right? That's how that's how it's supposed to come together. Of course it is. I. Uh, so you're saying there's a chance? Yeah, exactly. There's a chance. That's nuts.